morning. Today we're going to do our project with Henri Matisse, very famous French artist. And during the last portion of his life, near the end of his life, he did some beautiful paper cut projects. That's what we're going to be doing today. What you're going to be needing is some newspaper, scissors, pencil, and a glue stick. Okay, and depending on what grade level you are, you're going to either be doing something with a monochrome color palette, which is colors in the same realm, like all reds or shades of reds or shades of blue or shades of yellow. If you're in the second grade, you're going to be doing um, complementary colors that are colors opposite each other on the color wheel. You're going to be cutting two shapes with a background, and if you are in the third through fifth grade, you're going to be doing adjacent colors and probably some red, um, some white and some black shapes also. So today I'm going to show you basically they're all done the same way in that you're going to take a piece of paper and on this particular one, this is for kindergarten first grade, you're going to take the paper and fold it in half. Mine happens to be white on the back. And then what you're going to do with your pencil, you're going to draw a shape. Now you have to remember, on the, this is the folded part. You're going to draw on the fold. You're going to start on the fold and you're going to draw any kind of a shape you want. You don't want it too complicated because you're going to cut this out with scissors. You start on the fold and you end on the fold. Don't come over here or here. So you can see you start on the fold and you end on the fold. And then what you're going to do is simply with your scissors, cut this out. So I'm going to cut on here. And after I'm done with this, I'll get right back to you and show you what it looks like. Okay, so carefully cut on your lines. If you're not right on your lines, don't worry about it, because this is sort of an organic shape. And I'm going to cut right like that. All right. So now what you're going to have is two shapes, this one and this one. You need both shapes for your paper. All right. And if you accidentally cut off, we'll just tape it on the back side. So the portion that has the lines on it, you're going to turn it upside down and you're going to glue one here and you're going to glue one here. This is called a positive shape. And this is called a negative shape. It has a hole in it here, okay? So you're going to glue it down here, and you're going to glue it down just next to it. How you glue it, let me show you. I'll do this one here. I'm going to take my newsprint, my shape, my glue stick. I'm going to hold this down pretty carefully. I'm going to glue it right on off to the edge, right on off onto the newsprint. Get all your edges. You don't have to put a lot on here. Go all the way to the edges. Go right on off to the edge. Some in the middle, right? Now the only thing you have to be careful of, you have glue on the newspaper here. So next time you glue something else down, watch out. Don't do that. Don't let it touch there. So I'm going to come back on here. Turn this upside down. Put it where I want it. Press it down carefully. If something's not quite glued, I can lift it up just a little bit and glue it down. Okay, so now that one goes there. Now I have this one. Now here's where you have to be careful. I'm gonna glue this down here, but I don't wanna put it back down on the same space on here because I might have glue underneath there and the glue would stick underneath there. So I'm gonna take this, simply fold my paper where it's clean again, put this down on here, and go ahead and, and glue this part right onto the newspaper. Da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da, da -da. Go right on off into the newspaper. I don't worry about that. Go around all the outside edges. Outside edges. Like that. Go on through the newspaper because the newspaper is going to get thrown away. Try not to move this because I don't want to... Uh, I have glue underneath here. You can't see it. And if I move it and glue it, the glue is going to get back on the front side, which will be okay, but it causes a problem. Okay, so here's my second one now. I'll turn this one over, get out my finger. Put it right on the outside edge here, right on the edge here. 
edge here, edge there, edge there. Press it down. And for this particular project, that's it. This is my Henri Matisse Jacob Wismer masterpiece. Have fun.